Hi, Matthias from Pine Grove here. In this tutorial, we will take uh, Cody Cool Hair landing page and convert it into a full site editing uh, WordPress team with the help of blocks and the new Pine Grove feature that helps us to generate native WordPress blocks very easily. So, Cody Cool Hair is a Bootstrap 5 website and it has a couple of sections. So, like the header on the top and then the hero section about me, works, uh, testimonials and uh, the footer. So, what we will do is we will convert these individual sections into blocks and then we will design a very simple team that will let us kind of do a full site editing of the web or of the WordPress website. So first what we need to do is set up the WordPress project and to do that we go to WordPress panel and we activate WordPress and now we have to select what kind of projects, project are we building. Is it a team or plugin? And here we will do a team. Let's uh, give it a name. Let's say personal portfolio and then the Slack will be for portfolio. Next we choose the folder where the page will be exported. So that is usually a folder within our local WordPress installation. So in my case I'm using local by flywheel and then here I have VP content, teams and I will create a new folder. Let's call it portfolio. And I select it. So the team will be exported into the portfolio folder in my local WordPress installation. Okay, so what else? Export options, there's nothing to change here. Image sizes we can leave as they are. And then we have blocks section. And here we choose to export regular JavaScript blocks if possible. And we also have to add uh, our site style sheet into the WordPress block editor so that our blocks will be styled correctly uh, during editing. So let's select the website of our project. So we have to go um, to our source project. Sorry about this, it takes a bit of time. Okay, so this is the source project, the same project that is open here. And then we select the style sheet the main web, website style sheet. In our case, this is a customized bootstrap CSS. And this will tell Pingro and WordPress to include this style sheet in the block editor so that our blocks are correctly styled during the editing. Okay, save settings. And we can now go to WordPress export the team. And here we get a, a notice that functions PHP was added to our source project as well as uh, custom PHP. So we can just say OK, nothing to do with those at the moment. And let's also generate the team screenshot. OK and export the team again. 
And now we can go to the WordPress panel, dashboard, and then here in Appearances, Teams, we should be able to see our new team. So let's activate it. And then also here in Settings, under Reading, I selected that this will be a static page and I selected uh, uh, one of the pages named Home as the front page. And now if we go and visit the site, you know, everything is here, but all of this is hard-coded. It's not dynamic, we can't change it in WordPress, um, but the static version of our website is already here and it's working. But that's not what we want. We want all of this to be customizable. And in the next part, we will start converting the sections into blocks.